realize you look like a backstreet butcher, Mr. Morgan. Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. Hello, yeah, Arthur. I will. Looking pretty well stocked now. How's it going? Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Oh, Mr. Morgan! I've jotted down a few things that hey, I think wrong, could Bill? be a you look, nice uh, addition. Uh, kind of confused, like somebody just asked you where the sun goes Life at night. Is <laughs> all good. What do you mean? Well, I'm glad to hear that. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, yeah, there be nothing. I love it when you. Now, Lenny, you deserve it, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> You're too smart to spend the rest of your life robbing banks. What do you think America is? want to start something, buddy. Why are you always so angry, Bill? Shut up. I mean, life... Life is good. As well as... Guess we'll see if anyone notices. But it should be an idea. being an educated Negro for him? No. No, I don't imagine that it was. I always get the feeling he was a great man, your Paul. Not great, just normal and good. I sure turned out different. Now, here's what I'm thinking. Maybe those of us that still... Let's go, girl. Hey, fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, 
Your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Fine. All right, let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. A smoke fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting she did. All I'm thinking is how about I toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, what more for sticking it to rich folks? I hate rich folks. They really bury some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. Yeah.
worried about them greys, English. Excuse me? You not worried about them greys. In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Boy, I've, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here, uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean, you know, harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand. Some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? Then you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Ah, right you are. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy, because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? <clears throat> okay. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. Plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble.
that should do it. This is a quick dose as well. Think she'll go, Arthur? Light her up. After you, sir. Woo -woo! Would you look at that? Yeah. Now let's burn those bloody fields to the ground. Let's get 
Get the hell out of here, fast! to a right party. You call that party? That break we had got a money's worth, are they? Let's just get out of here first. The little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Tobacco? <laughs> I'm busting for the smoke. Should I? You okay? <laughs> Woo, Arthur! Uncle.
Hello, Abigail. Hi there, Arthur. Hey, Sean. Yeah, hey, what's up, big man? <laughs> How much? What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing at all. I brought... Oh, hello, Arthur. And what's she doing? <clears throat> She's doing nothing, too. <laughs> what exactly are you planning? Just a little late robbery, Arthur. Nothing that serious fella like yourself needs to worry about. And you need to get Mary Beth killed as well as yourself? Away with yourself, Arthur Morgan. We'll be getting rich, not killed. <laughs> Besides, Arthur, I'm so bored, I'd rather be shot. If you insist, I'm in. We don't want you in. We got this ourselves. I've seen you fight, little feller. You can kill any one of us, but I ain't letting you take her out, Robin, not without an extra gun. But she'd be acting, not fighting. Sounds good. Come on, then. Let's go rob this. What we robbing? Uh, uh, a stagecoach some fella told me about. Oh, wonderful. Come on, you can tell me more on the ride. Where are we heading? Back up north. Hey, it's coming down from Valentine. I know a great spot to set up an ambush. Just don't start acting like you're the lead on this, like you always do. Wouldn't dream of it. Uh. Artie, follow me. said, you'll be at the side of the road to flag them down. Give them some sob story. Yes, of course. Easy enough. We'll be hiding up above. Once they're unawares, I'll put in a few shots to let them know we mean business. Then move in fast to hold them up. Arthur, <laughs> I guess you can watch and give us marks out of ten. to tag along and it's just to keep an eye on the girl. Remember the crap you gave me for turning up at that train job with Marston and Charles? I'm keeping an eye on you, not her. I know she's solid. Let's cut up here. It'll be quicker. All right. Very funny. Hey, she's probably robbed more folk than both of us put together. I wouldn't go quite that far. Mary Beth can pick a pocket faster than you can blink, believe me. First time we laid eyes on her, she was being chased by three real angry-looking fellers. All right. Oh, that Just poor young ridge. girl getting a picked on gives like a good that. View with her own. But she had a bag full of wallets and gold watches. Happy memories, I'm sure. So will you two write about that in your journals? Can we get back to the matter at hand here? My job that I've brought you both in on. We're ready, Sean. Yes, keep your hair on. <sighs> Constant shite these English give me. Let's leave the horses here so they're out of sight. I want a rifle with a scope. If you got one, we'll be back a bit from the road. Such a privilege to be instructed by the master himself. This way. See the road down there, Mary Dead. She ain't blind. Come on, you two. This is gonna be fun. All right, Arthur. Me and you will take cover behind that log over there. Okay. You're the boss. Should be coming from the north any minute. You're up, Mary Beth. Well, all right, then. You know what you're doing, right? Of course she knows what she's doing. As soon as the shooting starts, get low and get the hell out of there, okay? Of course. Here it comes. I put in a couple of shots to spook them like, and then we'll move in. Are you sure about that? Your eyes ain't what they used to be, old fella. If you say so.
thank you. Shit. Hey, what's the trouble here, miss? Oh, thank God. I seem to have got myself all spun around out here. My horse ran off, and well, I don't know where I am. You must think I'm such a feather brain. What's your name, sir? Lawrence. Oh, Lawrence. <laughs> Would you gentlemen possibly give me a ride to the nearest town? <laughs> it's a banking stage, miss. We can't be picking up passengers. Come on, Harry. Nice young girl like that. <laughs> and I'm sure we can make oh, an exception. Be a good time. <laughs> Shut up. I thought you were just gonna threaten them. They seem threatened to me. this later. I'm gonna bust in and grab the money. No, you leave that to me. Fine, fine. I lighten the pockets of our dearly departed friends here. Sean, you too, Mary Beth. Told you. We'll split it up later. We better get out of here. I like how you swan into this at the last minute and then make off with all the money. Split up and meet back at camp. Go. We don't have time to hang around. All right. All right. I'll see you boys later. Yep. Picked up this. I heard you talking about losing the one your pa gave you. Well, that is mighty kind. Thank you, Arthur. Don't mention it. Arthur! Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Uh, just, a, just a few bucks. I'm short. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Fine. Fine. I'm fine. You ain't fine. 
We'll all be in far worse trouble soon enough, unless you get your head straight, Dutch. Tell him, Arthur. Tell him to wake up and fast. I'm trying, goddammit. Okay. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town, and things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't. But we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You've gotta take. I killed Combs brother. A long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. You know, I've been fighting Cone for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. You're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater. And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then, who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? And we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts, and O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in. To the lion's den. With you to cover us, hmm? Okay. Just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, 
With you watching over me? Hey, up there. Men on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como O'Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. All right, cowpoke. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plain. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Handing him over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Colum right, we can draw them all back. True. <laughs> Where'd Colum and Patrick head off? He's escaping, shoot him! Relax! Relax. I got him. I got him. <laughs> Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. Not yet. But I will.
Finally. Put his weapons over there. Of my boys. Six point guy. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. Then I thought Dutch preached true. Let me go, Con, and end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you. I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? <laughs> of course. He's gonna be so mad. He's gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And I'll be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you.
What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. My dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. Oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're uh, safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. Uh, uh, oh. You are safe now, Arthur. Oh, I got you. You're safe now. Oh, that's pretty, it does. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. <laughs> Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. <clears throat> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, 
Take care of yourself. You too. Yeah.